Today's Pokemon theory is going to discuss the idea that the Kanto War was World War II. Kanto is an interesting region, being based upon a portion in Japan. There is actually a literal region in Japan called Kanto though, and Surge also references a war in Kanto, but never specifies which war. Could World War II really have been the war that Kanto experienced? Find out in today's Pokemon theory. Today's theory is simple. The Kanto War that Surge references is, and was, World War II with a Pokemon spin on it. World War II, for those who are out of the loop, was a war that happened around the 1940s involving many of the major powers of the world, hence World War. Japan joined with Italy and Germany and fought against America, France, the English, and to some extent Russia and several other countries. But I'm no history major here, this isn't a history lesson, I'm just setting the basic stage for this so you kind of need this information. Japan is a pretty far away country from America, and Europe is kind of strange for a Japanese country that's so far away from a central power to join Germany, and arguably, that's where the main war occurred in Europe, not Japan, but yeah, that's what happened. How is Kanto in the real world and the game involved then, if Japan wasn't the main battle? Well, Japan decided to surprise attack Pearl Harbor and bomb the base unprovoked. Not that war has a lot of rules, per se, before World War II, as they say, all's fair in love and war. Despite the view that war permits a lot of tragedy, America did not sit idly by and instead created a bombing campaign against Japan. Uh, excuse me? Mr. Pokemon Master, I thought this was a Pokemon theory, not a history theory. <laughs> Everyone knows America nuked Japan, duh. Actually, incredibly condescending commenter, no. Kanto, the region, was devastated by something similar, but not a nuke necessarily. On the night of 9-10, March, 1945. The United States Army Air Force conducted a devastating firebombing raid on Tokyo, the Japanese capital city. This attack was codenamed Operation Meeting House by the USAAF and is known as the Great Tokyo Air Raid in Japan. Bombs dropped from 279 Boeing B-29 Super Fortress, heavy bombers burned out much of the eastern Tokyo, more than 90,000 and possibly over 100,000 Japanese people were killed, mostly civilians, and 1 million were left homeless, making it the most devastating singular air attack in human history. The Japanese air and civil defense proved largely inadequate, only shooting down around 14 American aircraft and less than 100 airmen were lost. Before this happened, there was also an earthquake that really devastated Kanto in the 1920s. The region really suffered greatly for 20 plus years, maybe even more if you really think about the aftermath of World War II. Which brings me around to what Lieutenant Surge says. Surge will explain in most Generation 1 and 2 games that he survived war because of his electric Pokemon. This presented a question, what war? I have done previous theories speculating this, however, the war for today's video would be World War II as stated before. And the logic is how destabilized the region is, that's why. Think about how strange things are in Generation 1. The region has no jobs outside Pokemon trainers and shopkeepers, maybe a Pokemon Center operator. Some people are scientists as well, and there are some rare appearances of engineers too, but there's no hospitals, no fire departments, the police are very far and few between, actually the population itself is pathetically small. So this would explain why there's a rise in criminal organization similar to the Yakuza, giving people jobs where none exist. It would make sense that this is an interpretation of Kanto after World War II, and after all of the destruction and chaos, right when they just started building back. The region hadn't had time to rebuild everything yet, and that's the interpretation given to us, the players. And Surge, the Lightning American, lives there now after the war is finished. It all makes sense, except for one massive problem, and that's technology. If we suspended the idea that game consoles 
weren't in this generation, we could speculate that the game occurs directly after the war. People might have had TVs back then. Uh, it's not too impossible, though extremely unlikely. The NES and SNES, however, did not exist until 1986 onward. You can see kids trading on Game Boys. Man, talk about breaking the fourth wall, right? But see, if we suspend all of that, even what's shown on TV disproves this theory. In the 1940s, TVs were fairly new, so it's not possible that even the common man could have had a TV in his home. Like, these were pretty rare things to have in your house at the time. And on the player's TV, at home, there's a movie. Movies were rarely shown on TVs at the time as well. It was very uncommon. The first one ever to be shown on a home television was in 1933, and it was called The Crooked Circle. But this movie is widely believed to be Stand By Me that's shown on the player's television at his house. It matches up with the movie very, very well. There's a whole theory behind that, but long story short, the movie wasn't made until 1986, which pretty much disproves this theory, but could possibly confirm my original theory that the war Surge references was the Gulf War. Ironically enough, if you play Fire Red and Leaf Green as a female, the movie is The Wizard of Oz, which still makes this possible, though highly unlikely. And because that was a remake as well, a lot of people don't accept it as canon. Regardless, do you agree? Do you think Kanto is in such disarray because of World War II, and that was the war that Surge was speaking of? Or is it a different war? You guys can go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're active. If you're not active, you don't need to subscribe. I'll be here and you can search me out. Anyways, I've been Stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.